Hi everyone, happy Sunday to everybody. Um, I am back with week two, uh, video two of the um, the Christmas uh, crafting collaboration uh, that Beth has uh, put on at uh, Bourbon Creek Crafts. Um, I am, for this week, I am, uh, well, this month, I'm working on um, eliminating as much as I can of the papers in this um, collection. It's the Mary Mary 6x6 pad by Pebbles Inc. And um, I've pulled out a bunch of pages doing, wanting to do other things and then decided not to. So I've got um, quite a few of the, of the actual sheets left. And then I have a, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of crap, um, scraps. So um, I'm loving this paper pad even more as, you know, the days go by. So uh, for my project for this week, I decided to create some easel cards. And if you've been following me for a little while, you know I absolutely love my easel cards. Um, so let me start with this first one here. Um, all three, I made three of them and all three um, measure five and a half squared. So this is probably my favorite print <laughs> of the paper. Um, and I uh, did a little scallop here at the top. Of course I used a cut apart that uh, matches the, the paper. Added some dollar store uh, foam and glittered uh, snowflakes, and then I punched out some others, um, white cardstock, and then this is uh, from the dollar store as well. And I matted this um, on white and then black cardstock, and it is uh, on some chipboard in there, so it's kind of got some dimension. Um, and then I added bling on all corners, um, as well as the centers of the snowflakes. So I hope you can see the sparkle in that. And there's the inside. Added a little strip of the paper, um, some black and then this red pleated trim with some bling in the center um, and the black strip was just to kind of tie in the the black around the um, the little uh, cut apart so so there's that one card one okay and then cards two and three I went out a little bit different <laughs> I'm super super happy with how these turned out and basically what I did differently is I didn't try to make it so it's all the same, the same size, um, you know, the front and the base. Um, so that made me really happy to do that. And it was a little out of my comfort zone at the beginning, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I really like how it turned out. Uh, I love this paper that has just different Christmas sentiments in the background. And then, of course, this poinsettia paper matted that on some black cardstock and then added a um, red doily and then this is a oh I put it away darn it it's um a chipboard piece from I think it's an echo park collection uh, I think I know I got that at uh, Tuesday morning a while back and then this is a, um, a dimensional poinsettia from Hobby Lobby and then I just had this little ruffle red um, trim that I used for a bow then I added some red pearls, um, added a stamp that says wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And I really like the, the dimension and all on this. Um, and then I used the same pleated trim here for the stopper and added a strip of that poinsettia paper. So um, totally, totally loved that. Uh, so that's card number two. And then card number three, I, I would say this one was my favorite until I finished the third one. <laughs> And then um, I really, really like this one. Um, so this one's just very simple. Uh, this pattern paper in the back has a bunch of Christmas sentiments as well. And I decided to venture out a little bit and use this um, trim that I don't even know where I got it. Um, but I like how it how it pokes out um, on the back like that. It just looks really cute. And it looks like a wreath is what it reminded me of. And then I used a... I got this not too long ago with a coupon from Hobby Lobby. It's a little um, Christmas tree stamp from the paper studio. And I love it. It's um, it's great. I um, punched it twice in the pattern paper and then the black cardstock to kind of give it a shadow. And then I added the Believe sentiment, added pearls and every other of the little loops. Uh, this little bow with some organza ribbon. And this also is from Hobby Lobby, the poinsettia, and I added some pearls, and this is really cute paper. I really liked it. And then the inside, oops, has a bunch of pearls as my stoppers, and then um, added a little bit of this pattern paper 
I'm using a Recollections Border Punch at the bottom. So, so those are my cards for today, um, for week two. And I am just super happy, um, again, to be participating in this um, collaboration with um, Beth and the group of talented ladies, um, including my sis. And um, I will be back next week uh, working on um, some other projects. And I actually... Um, started some other <laughs> card bases for easel cards because I was just on a roll, but I know I won't I know I won't get others done. So um, I might share those with you next week or the week after. So um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you've had a great weekend and you're enjoying a relaxing Sunday evening and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.